Hey everybody, it's Dilly Sims. Today we have Cass, 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 Cass. We're casting, <laughs> casting the most popular girls in school. Also known as creating a sim, the most popular girls in school. If you're not familiar with this YouTube show, A, where are you? Do you live under a rock? Oh, that should have been two different things. But let's make it just one. Two, you need to get your life. Literally. This, sh I love the most popular girls in school. You, I recommend you guys watching it. They're, they just released a trailer promo thing for season five. And it's been two years <laughs> since season four ended. And I thought they were never going to bring it back, but I am so happy it's coming back. So as a, like, not, how do I put this? As a, like, tribute to the most popular girls in school, we're creating the main cast. Disclaimer, I forgot one of the main cast members. Deandra the new girl. And I hate myself because Deandra's a huge part of season one, two, three, and I don't remember. I'm not a huge fan of season four, so sorry, the most popular girls in school. If you're watching this, I don't remember how important she is in season four. I don't remember that much of season four, but I'm re-watching them right now as we, not as we speak because I'm speaking to you guys right now, but I am currently re-watching all four seasons. So I will be well versed in the land of the most popular girls in school, also known as Overland Park. But right now we're working on Mackenzie Zales. Mackenzie Zale Zales is head cheerleader, homecoming queen, and part-time model. And <laughs> the Barbie doll they originally used was from the dollar store, because when they first, when the most popular girls in school, Carlo Moss and Oh, I forgot his name. And other guy. <laughs> if they watch this, they're gonna hate me so much. But Carlo Moss and other guy. <laughs> they had a very, very low budget. And this, it's... The show is stop motion. So if you've watched Robot Chicken, it's the same thing. They're all Barbie dolls. And they had no money to start off with when they made the first episode, so they used dollar, dollar dolls, dollar dolls, dolls from the dollar store, you know, that are like cheap and plastic and you can rip off their heads and arms super easily. And over time in the show, and they also like go ahead and they like make sure it's overtly clear, the McKinsey Barbie doll starts losing her hair. And sadly, we don't have, like, missing hair Barbie. I mean, sim hair. Which I would have totally used. And uh, for the first two, three seasons? The first two seasons and a half of the third. Mackenzie Zales, Brittany Matthews, and Trisha Capaletti. They all use cheer uniforms. It sucks that The Sims 4 doesn't have cheer uniforms yet, but I didn't want them to all wear the same outfits, so Mackenzie and Trisha are using outfits from the first episode, because Mackenzie wears a green dress, like aqua dress, and Trisha Capaletti uses a red dress, so that's what they're using. So, and. In episode two, when you get, first get introduced to Brittany Matthews, she's a head cheerleader, she's not a head cheerleader, she's co-head vice president, captain of the cheer squad. So her pink outfit that she's wearing, that one, for a split second, is the, my take on the cheer uniform, you know, without using custom content or anything, because I don't like to use custom content in my stuff. Previous videos of mine from very very early on like high school You'll notice that I did have cu custom content, but it Takes up too much space, and I just don't want to use it because it just I don't like the way it affects my computer sometimes 
But yeah, they're not gonna all wear the same outfits. And I... It sucks that we don't have, like, a created... Create an outfit? Create a... Create a style? Is that what it's called? Yes. I'm gonna say it's called Create a Style from The Sims 3. Because it would have came in so helpful. It would have been so helpful to make a few of these outfits. Because, like, uh... Saison Marguerite, her outfit does not look like her outfit in the most popular girls in school. The cheerleader uniforms could have been a lot closer to like the actual cheer uniforms that they have in the show. But you know, I had to improvise. I'm sorry guys if you hate it, if you hate it. Let me know in the comments section. Either way, if you hate it, don't hate it, let me know in the comment section. And remember to check out the TV show, The Most Popular Girls in the School. Just type it into YouTube and you'll instantly find it. It's like a huge thing with like 500,000 subscribers. You know, like every YouTuber's dream. And the formal outfits that they use, that I put them in, I tried, they, the girls only do one formal type of thing in the whole, in all four seasons. And that's prom. The finale of season one, prom. So I was trying to pull inspiration from what they wore for prom. So Mackenzie wore a blue dress, I believe. I know Trisha wore a pink dress with a lot of ruffles from like the 80s. Uh, Brittany also wore a pink dress. Uh, Shay Van Buren, who I think I'm currently working on. Yeah, I'm currently working on Shay Van Buren. She wore a gold dress like Beauty and the Beast. And I was so happy to find out that The Sims not only had hoop earrings, but they had blue hoop earrings, which is something Shay Van Buren wears in the TV show. Er, well, I guess they, mm, I guess it's a TV show. And I spent so long trying to figure out Shay Van Buren's clothing because I wanted to try to get it as close as I can to the actual TV show's outfits, but it just never matched 100% because it was, the top part like where the cleavage is and up, that's like a pink and red striped, it's one whole dress, but that part is like pink and white striped and the bottom is like blue with lettering. And I just couldn't mimic that, so I just improvised, and this is what I came up with. I'm not happy about it, but, you know, I feel like I could identify them as, like, Shea Van Buren, Saison Marguerite, Trisha, Mackenzie, Brittany, what's, who else did I also include? I included Shea's sisters, Cameron Van Buren, and Michaela Mackenzie. What's the youngest Van Buren name? Michaela. It's Michaela. So yeah, I spend forever figuring out what Shay's gonna wear. <sighs> yeah, this is what I put her in. I hate my life. It doesn't look, you know, too n nice, but yet again, I'm like I said, I'm not dressing them trying to match. I'm trying to match their outfits to the outfits in the TV show. So it's whatever I have on hand. And like, there's the gold dress that Shay wore for prom, except not, you know, 100%. And you see me like tugging on the faces a lot. And like, that's because I pulled up pictures of them. And remember, these are all Barbie dolls and stuff. So I tried to get the Barbie dolls faces as close as I could, like the Sims faces as close to the Barbie dolls faces, which I was build making these, er, building these. I was creating these Sims and I, I thought it was so funny because the idea of the Sims is like you're playing with dolls, a virtual dollhouse. And then I'm not only like making a Sim, I am making a Sim of a doll and then you play The Sims, and The Sims is like a virtual dollhouse. So it's like I'm making a doll of a doll. It's like The Matrix. <laughs> My, <laughs> yeah. What have you guys been up to? 
I don't have any cool stories today. Not that I can think of, at least. Mm, but you guys, you guys let me know what you want me to make. I am starting to run out of ideas for stuff to make, so I, I'm looking up challenges like the 10k bill challenges, the 10 minute bill challenge, and I just don't know what else to make. Okay, let me just say, of all of the characters, and they have a whole bunch of wacky, amazing characters in the most popular girls in school, Cameron Van Buren is by far my favorite. She is so funny. <laughs> Cameron Van Buren is the oldest sister of Shay and Michaela Van Buren, and she's in college, and she's always... Every story she has is about, like, her dating a boy, and it's not even a boy, it's a man, and she's so- she prides on her- she prides herself on being a mistress. And she's like, guys, I just had to break up with my 29-year-old boyfriend, and the mom was like, oh, honey, why? And she's like, because I got a brand new 39-year-old boyfriend, <laughs> and she's like, mm my ex-boyfriend was so immature, he was like, oh my god, I love my wife, and oh, Cameron, you gave me chlamydia, and he, my new boyfriend's like, oh, fuck my ex-wife, I already have chlamydia, <laughs> and I love her, because she's so ridiculously funny, oh, and then I, um, her dress in the TV show, I couldn't find anything that matches, and then I made a dress and was like happy with it right and then I was like it looks a little familiar and so I go to like I realized that the dress I created was the same dress I made for Brittany Matthews so I had to redo everything and then I came up with this t found this top and I was like this is perfect because it doesn't a hundred percent match what she wears but she does have a flower on her like right shoulder so the ruffles there around the arms I could live with and like identify her and her pink dress from like prom which I don't know if she wore a pink dress now but I made her really pink and I didn't focus too much on the um, sleepwear because it's not like it matters the most important thing is what their everyday clothes I'm sorry I don't have any stories for you guys. I usually... Well, I don't usually have stories, but the last speed build that I made, the... what is it called? Hampton's Home. I had a lot of juicy gossip to dish out to you guys. And I will try to, like, make notes and stuff to, like, let you guys know what's going on. Not that anyone cares, but I feel like it'll make the speed build go by faster. And I personally like when I'm watching speed builds or create a sims when the youtuber talks to me and just like it's like having a friend in the room and they're just talking because usually I never shut the hell up which is it's perfect the sims is per, a per er, YouTube is a perfect outlet for this because I just like right now I've been talking for 13 minutes straight and I have not gotten a drink of water so my mouth is so dry Oh, the little girl there is the youngest Van Buren, Michaela. And then I was, I thought I was done and I was like, oh, I should add Saison and Marguerite. <sighs> but I hate myself that I didn't include Deandra, because Deandra's amazing. If you watch the, fun fact, if you watch the, <sighs> about your size, uh, uh, uh. She said, boys like a little more booty to hold a night. What's that song called? All About That Bass with Megan Trainer. She's singing and she's holding a doll in her hand. That is a Deandra doll. It's, it's a doll from the dollar store, but if you watch the TV show, The Most Popular Girls in School, you will easily see or identify that doll in the TV show, Deandra as the doll that Megan Trainer throws in the corner. Just a fun fact for you guys, I'm such a dork when it comes to the most popular girls in school. I used to watch this like at the end of, towards my senior year of high school, 
in like a little bit afterwards, this show helped me grow up and become the well-rounded individual that I currently am, who's well-versed in many fields like science, history, art, music, and all those things you need to do to be a, you know, a good person, I guess. And then I'm putting in some traits, not that you guys care, but all the traits I tried to, like, match to the girls, but then the, the traits I realized I was making the same traits for this, for all the girls, so I tried to make them a little bit different. And I'm coming close to the end of the video, guys, so I'm gonna say like, subscribe, comment, and do all those fun YouTube things, and I will catch you next time. Thank you for putting up with me today, and bye, everybody.